This is our group. Uh, we're doing something called uh, we're doing something called it's a, it's a commonly used phrase in Chinese and it means uh, well when a lot of people group together with a common goal you can build capital. Right? So uh, uh, I proposed this project yesterday as a uh, common purpose on my discussion of the forum. But uh, instead of a linear form, we're, we're imagining uh, a net network uh, interface of uh, related ideas, ideologies, and different people. And um, well, we have this culture online sort of um, discussion in a way, but culture. Yeah, but like in a, in a not so constructive way. <laughs> when we discuss things online, usually, and what I mean, in this country. So, I guess I had, a, or we all had a, a, uh, a vision of a better environment, or say, in a concrete way, a better interface for people to discuss things online. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, and how is that going to play out? How are you going to achieve it? Sir? Um, I guess it's a lot of layers. It's also building a culture, but we're, right now we're thinking very technically about how to design a better interface. So it would be imagined as a as a network of articles and comments, um, and then you can specify how they're related. And also in a longer article, you can also uh, it's like that. Sort of. I don't know. My mock up, but since we have all these people now, it will change. And right now, we're drawing, we're all, we're all drawing like what kind of function do we think our interface should have? Um, and um, because when we're writing articles, it's usually a whole piece, and then it's very sort of interconnected, different points of view, different sort of arguments are sort of woven in one article. Then, if we can design an interface to specify the structure of your whole argument, then people can break it down and sort of, you know, you can support this part, but you can object to this part, you can supplement to this part. Um, um, there was a piece on Neiman Lab in the last week about um, doing an overview of uh, all the new approaches to comments and annotations on news reportage mm -hmm. that might be interesting in the yeah. ideas. Cool. I think it was on Neiman or was it very very good to Do you know how to spell that? Neiman Lab, N I E. It's an American M A N. M A N and then Lab. Also, a um, source. Uh, there's a source. I think they've also done a whole lot of takedowns of this yeah. kind of um, discussion at a very technical level. Um, so that would be open news source. And uh, there's the Coral project. Yeah. Which you should check out. Which is Coral, like the Coral. The Coral Reef. Yeah. Oh, um, and they're doing exactly this. They're it's, oh, great. The it's the Washington Post, the New York Times, and then Mozilla are collaborating to try to figure out some of these same questions. And I think they've come to similar ideas of you know, line by line commenting. Which culture so the way the medium already aligns with you. Yeah. But it's not interconnected, so you can't actually then dynamically yeah. start connecting arguments. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of so yeah, it's almost like you're creating a commentary <laughs> narrative, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And it's structured yeah. in a spatial, non-linear way. Yeah. Which I think could be very helpful when you're thinking about things. Nowadays, arguments are presented in a linear fashion, because that's how we used to read, how we used to think. But I don't think actually. Uh, I think Taiwanese are ahead of us. Because I mean, I've been watching on the trains, people are reading left to right as well as down. And we can also read right to left if you force us to. <laughs> try and, if you try anyone from the West, try and force them to do that, they'll have a nervous breakdown. Yeah. <laughs>
So I think you guys might have a, a lead on on the other thinkers in the field. But have a look at those projects. The coral one is, I might have been what the Neiman lab was looking at, mm -hmm. and then critiquing it, um, and uh, right. suggesting where there are other influences that might be important. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, we're also talking about rules, if we should have rules, of, you know, yeah. how the should, should be conducted. We should, should we have moderators, or should the community as a whole, or the community uh, to moderate? And then what if we, we you know, there's some idiots participating, what's it throwing out? They always are. I know, yeah. but how, how to define the... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, mean, you mean trolling? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen uh, League of Legends? So, it was this online game, and they had really bad problems with harassment and trolling, and they actually hired, I think, three or four sociologists with PhDs um, to help them rebuild their community in a more healthy way. And they have all this really sophisticated stuff, like an incentive system, the ability for the community with consensus to ban somebody, but then there's also like a redemption mechanism. Yeah. So people can come back under certain circumstances. Yeah. It's really, really interesting. And does it work? Wow. Better than most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So yeah, it's almost self-regulating in a way once they've designed the system. What's it? It's almost self-regulating once exactly. It's yeah, so that the community is kind of involved in yeah, moderation itself. can be massively expensive, especially when you become you have success and you start getting tens of thousands yeah. of comments. Yeah, we also don't want it to be a sort of authoritarian regime on right. the top, like looking over everyone. Right. I argue that lynch mobs are almost as authoritarian as the Satan's. But, um, yeah, but, but, but this is the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. the problem. You have both tendencies. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, not the extreme, but the middle path. It's going to be an interesting project. It's going to take way more than one uh, hectare. <laughs> yeah. Years. Because I, I did research on collaboration with the product of idea. Why not bring out? I didn't expect anyone to sort of <laughs> jump on, but then a big team. But it's, the, I mean, it's the sort of thing that you know at the end you can share with people like the Forum Project or other people who do yeah. stuff. I mean, I think everybody's desperate. Like, there's a big community that's really desperate to figure this out. So, uh, as in, uh, as in online, but how to how to make yeah. a better conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guess, do you think it's the only platform on the internet where discussions can be scaled? I think it's different, yeah. It scales differently than anything else. And it scales pretty easily. It scales pretty easily. But then it also gets, it turns, it turns into a shit show. How you can dynamically keep interrelations, but you allow the conversation around a specific piece of the article to grow uh, organically over time. Um, I think Washington Post eventually, like four years ago, tried to adopt it. Yeah. At the time, the technology just wasn't made to make it work properly. But the code base is still available. And some of the ideas in it were very, very interesting. And most of the difficulties will be uh, around data structure. How do we uh, store them and their relationships and interactions? Yeah. And when there are so many posts surrounded about one theme, how do we make sure that the ones that are more important people want to hear to be shown yeah. instead of garbage or trash? Yeah. Yeah. Or just like fun cats. Well, sometimes the garbage attracts as much attention as the stuff that people really want to do. So it's almost sentiment analysis. <laughs> the one thing I've noticed, which I think is really interesting, is that, you know, when I write something for NPR.org, you get these commenters. Sometimes they're real assholes, you know? But they'll have something interesting to say. And, and if you go in and get your reply and take them so seriously, all of a sudden you confuse the situation. But you know, they're being answers because they're like, hey, listen to me, I have something to say. 
and they feel like the only way to do that is by trolling. Um, and once you break that barrier, then things become civil. It doesn't always work, but it's this really interesting dynamic. But it also keeps our writers out of commenting, right? Because they don't want to have to deal with all this, this stuff. So I don't know, there's, there's this really interesting kind of dynamic there that I wonder, I, I'm really curious about how to kind of break that. We want a conversation and the commenting to be civilized, but we're afraid that that kind of concept may be too, again, higher up, like sorting people. We don't want any kind of um, message to be eliminated from the crowd. But sometimes we want to choose those that are more civilized. And sometimes we, we cannot define what is trash. We cannot define what is yeah. what is out of the, uh, is not, not out in the regulation. So you mean you almost set your own filter setting about how much noise you want to listen to? So That's I what a very we were discussing this morning. Yeah. So yeah, you're almost no, starving the trolls of oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking that if, if it is possible for people to ignore all those yeah. bullshit. That'd yeah. be cool. Actually, you know, even on things like Discus, if I could ignore specific people, because they tend to troll multiple sites. Yeah. yeah. So like that would be that would be a really cool feature just on its own. I would I would love that on Discus yeah. because there's probably a two dozen people exactly. who troll every single NPR. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I have no <laughs> idea how they have the time. Yeah. Well, they probably work in a bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I would love to just be able to say, block this person, well, mute them out, yeah. and I'll bet the comments would become way, In fact, way that's how you'll probably make your next million. <laughs> Actually, you know that in God Zero, there's a there's a project on like trolling helper, a plugin that would help you to identify uh, which Facebook commenter is constantly a troll, and we, we, they are constantly cross posting on the same content or constantly being um on on civil huh. yeah. and, and it's a plugin for Facebook. <laughs> it's a browser plugin. Uh, and it looks really cool. Yeah, and you, each Facebook account has a, an individual um, a trolling index, which would indicate um, how many times he is reporting on the show. It looks it looks really interesting. And, and, and you could not notice some of them are labeled as um, party affiliates or some. Oh, or weird. Yeah. Huh. So, so and you directed that, that, that at the, uh, the Russian uh, army of commenters. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I'm so sure there's another one. Yeah, we have them in Africa. Right? <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. So, so that's quite interesting. Cool. Well, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. That was an interesting. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.